welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about battery life i will i will be talking about how you can improve the battery life on your device if you are running ios 26.3 or even if you're running ios 26.2 no matter which update you are running you will improve the battery life by following some tips usually whenever i make a video that how you can improve the battery life i share tips and tricks but in this video i'm gonna share what I personally do to improve the battery life of my device. So here are a few things that I follow and in this video I'm going to share all those things and if you follow those things you will be getting a good battery life. Now, if I go into the settings and show you the how what sort of battery life I am personally getting. So for example today I use around 72% of my device and I got more than 6 hours of screen on time with the decent. Yesterday I used around 80% of my device and I got more than 7 hours of screen on time. The day before yesterday, I used around 88% and I got more than 10 hours of screen on time. So definitely, I am doing something different that might be you are not doing. And if you do that, you will be getting a good battery life. So without any further delay, let's get up into this video. Now, first of all, if I get over here and get to the charging, you will see that I have charge limit of 85%. Now, usually, I always say that follow 2080 rule. Now, what is 2080 rule is basically when your battery life is around 20%, uh, plug the charger, and when it is around 80%, unplug the charger. But I personally prefer 85% because I do go out, I do get to you know office, and I want my phone to be like at least something. Uh, I don't want it to die every single day, so this is why I choose 85%. I might get to 90% but I think 85% is a decent one and if you have a device that don't have this option you can get into the battery you will see uh, over here into the battery health and charging and over here you will see the option of um, optimize battery charger you can turn this on when this is on it automatically charge up to 80% most of the time sometimes it go up to 100% but most of the time it charge up to 80%. Also what you can do is you can make an automation where when the 80% hits the device, you know, put an alarm or something like that. I will do a separate video and share how you can automate this thing. But yeah, you can follow the limit. 20% plug the charger, 80% unplug the charger. I'm following this rule and it is helping me a lot. It is helping me a lot to get a good battery life this is something that you should do now in the power mode there are different options available like adaptive power and if i turn this on i will give the notification and low power mode is also available but i don't use any of these options i don't think i need any of these options because i just saw you that i'm still getting a decent battery life decent screen type so i don't think i need these sort of options or so just keep them off other than that if we get back over here that go all the way down into the privacy and security there are here are a few things that i am doing that you might be not doing the so first of all is with the location get into location go all the way down to the system services go all the way down into the product or pro bed you know by default these are on but they are not helping me in any possible way so i turn them off also if you see by default these system services are on but I turned off the ones that I don't need. For example, compass calibration. I don't need this one. I turned it off. I don't use home app at all, so I turned it off. I don't need location to be used in suggestion and search, so I turned it off. So whenever I don't need to use the you know location, I just turn it off. I don't care it is important or not, but I just turn that off. And over here you will notice most of the options I have selected are while using or never for example i get into this app now there are four different options available never ask test time or when i share while using the app and always mostly by default it goes to the always option and when it is turned on it is always you know checking your location even if you're not using the app so the best options are while using the app so whenever you open that app it uses the location or ask next time or when i share these two are the best option and you can also choose never like if i don't want the app to use my location just choose never it is also going to help a lot to improve the battery life because you know 
when the location is always on the background it is consuming a lot of battery life so customize your apps this way it is gonna help you a lot now when i go back from here and go back from here into the notification so whenever there is a new notification it uses your um, wi-fi or mobile data it uses background processes and gather data and bring a notification no but all these things are happening and you are getting a lot of lot of notifications every single day definitely it will consume battery life i know you might say it consumes a bit of a battery life but at the end of the day when there are so many notifications it is consuming a lot of battery life well now over here you will notice i have notifications that are mostly turned off as you can see as of off delivered quietly i just turn this off too i just install this app i was just checking something and most of them are off if there's any app that notifications are important for example messages whatsapp or any other app notifications are on but for the most of the apps you see notifications are off and this is also helping me a lot to get a better battery life which is a nice thing well you can also go into the haptics you can turn them off if you want to but i keep them on because i enjoy haptic feedback and it is my personal choice now you can go into the privacy security again and you will see the option over here is motion at fitness now by default motion fitness is on this is something like this and this is also on and it is always tracking your motion that when you are walking when you are you know going to another floor or something like that it is always tracking your steps it is always counting that how many steps you walk how many calories you burn and all that i don't prefer to turn this on because i do have my apple watch over here so i just turn it off and honestly it is helping me a lot to get a better screen on time so this is something you can do if you don't care about counting you know your steps and all those stuff you can turn the more fitness tracking off from here into the privacy and security now here's another thing here is an option of journaling suggestions now for me i turn this on but if you're not getting a good battery life you can also turn it off from here now try to understand it is always checking your activities or it is always checking your media contacts photos significant locations that is consuming a lot of battery life so i know it is consuming battery life but i do journal i need these things to be on but if you don't do journal you can just turn them off and it's gonna help a lot a lot to get a much better battery life no i'm gonna share some basic settings so just i'm gonna do quickly stuff so you could just follow me over here go into the analytics and improvement turn them off go back go back to the apple advertising turn them off go all the way to the top into the tracking turn them off so by doing these three settings off you are doing a major major um good deed to your iphone because it is going to help a lot to save a lot of battery life so these are the few things that you can do these are a few things that i do personally to get an amazing battery life i just show you the battery life in the beginning i show you the screen or time of my device in the beginning so you can get motivated and get this sort of a battery life on your device by following by following these things that i just showed you well if you have any question if you want to know that um anything related to the battery life if you have any problem going on with the battery life share your iphone share the battery health of your iphone and share which ios version you are using i will i'm over here i will try to fix the issues that you are getting on your device well this is all from this video i hope you enjoyed this and if i get into the settings the software update there is no 26.3 beta 2 and if i get over here to see 26.2.1 into the software update so far there is no update at all anyways i hope to get you guys in the next video until that take care peace out